Hey Magic Community on YouTube, D1 Glister Elf here. I'm going to be trying out some new historic. By the time that this video goes up, the event's already over, but in case you happen to miss it, basically it's 40 cards, uh, only historic legal cards of course, you get 40 and there's an unlimited number of each instance of a card. So I could have not just say 4 Thalia, but I could have 10 Thalia, or 40 Thalia, if I felt, or 60. The 40 is not a hard cap, you can go above that. Uh, but there's also no ban list, which means I can play crazy stuff like Uro, or Teferi, or whatever the heck I feel like. That, <laughs> which, invariably, we will. But we're going to try out some silly decks first. Now, if you have not been paying attention at all to what people are doing, the, the level one, what everyone initially thinks of is, I'll just play Tibble's Trickery. I'll just play Tibble's Trickery, and then Oops All Ugans, or Oops All Ulamogs, or something like that. Well, uh, I decided to not do that. I'm going out of my way not to do that. Plenty of other people have. We're going to do something different. Now it's time for something completely different. So, for example, this one is Hammer Time. Hammer Time is a deck that I actually saw from a speedrun that someone did of a uh, try to kill Sparky as quickly as possible challenge. Uh, the idea is that you want to turn one, miscloaked Herald, turn two, Colossus Hammer, so one mana equipment, but it's plus ten, plus ten, and equips for eight. Resolute Strike, so plus two, plus two, and you may attach an equipment you control to a warrior. Well, hey, look! <laughs> and then good old Hallowed Fountain. That's, that's easy, so we're going to try that out. I'll give one, maybe two games to each deck. Uh, one for sure, and then if it doesn't work out all that well, we'll give it another try. To be fair, these should be extremely quick games. This is not the one of which I'm most proud today, uh, but I'll show you that one last, actually. I'll save that one for the end. You can see people are trying to get in on the event before it goes out, before it finishes up. Gushix, I haven't played you before. Oh, I had one job. I was going to go get a drink. Ooh, we have to mulligan. We lack one of the combo pieces, and we keep. Hmm. Oh, hello? The touch screen did not work for some reason. Alright, you ready on the hello? Alright. <laughs> this is this is so stupid. Yep, we're playing Miss Cloaked Herald. You know what? Okay. Is this the mono ruin crab deck? It's the mono ruin crab deck. Let's go. Let's Go. Oh, they have Fable Passage, so they can fetch. <laughs> this is so silly. This is so, That's 12 cards. And there's only 40 cards in the format, so Mill is actually... Mill's pretty good. Mill's pretty fast. Um, so if they get Crab Crab Fable Passage next turn... Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, play as if they don't have it, right? Boop! Yes. Ta-da! <laughs> and then they kill me. That's that's how this is going to work. Here's another Ruin Crab. Do you have another... Oh, there's Fable Passage. Okay, so we have a limit of three. And that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Okay, so that's how the deck's supposed to work. Ta-da! <laughs> Welcome to turn three. Pretty consistent decks. If you're not playing a turn two or three consistent deck in this format, you have to have a really, really good reason for it. Uh, so this is this, however, is not at all a consistent deck. But we'll try it. Crazy Cat Lady. It consists of tw twenty-five charm strays and fifth. No, not even. It's like twenty-seven charm strays. And 13, yep, yeah, 13 plays. Shout out to Bob Ross, that's still the default one. Uh, yeah, lifelink, and when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control named Charm Stray. If you're gonna try to do something like this, just play Ruin Crab. Don't put yourself through this, but I get to play a deck called Crazy Cat Lady, so that works for me. Let's go with it. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Arlens. Also haven't played you. Ah Alright, step one. 
get on, ready on that turn one, that turn one, hello. All right, just gave away how many lands I have. All right. Where's a cat emoji? I could, I could use that. Maybe that's in one of the old, well, maybe it's in one of the older mastery paths. Ah, uh, okay. Somebody figured it out. Also, this is really good against us, as it turns out. No, it's each other. <laughs> Look at how dumb this is. This is obnoxious. All right, and then uh, Ruin Crab Island or Ruin Crab Ruin Crab Island? No. Oh, Fable Passage. They had they had the Fable Passage. Of course they did. This is this is a format where they can play uh, as many as they'd like. Of course they have it. They when in doubt, they always have it. All right. In case it happened not to be clear, I think they know what I'm on now. Oh no. Oh no. Well, okay. I was hoping I could get another Charm Stray here so I could play all three out. Alright. I think that they win this. I, if I'm not mistaken, my daily challenge is play white or black spell. Or, no, blue or black spells. So, obviously, this doesn't help too much. Uh oh. That's nine. And it started at 19, didn't it? 10, all right, and then they fetch, and then we go to 1. All right. Yeah, and then they block our biggest ones, and... Yeah, ta-da! Woo! Yep, should have, yep, one card. All right, so I wasn't completely sure about our starting point, you see. Hey, And then we mash through. So even if they block our biggest ones, they take five. So we actually made it. Somehow that worked. <laughs> That's just a luck thing. To be fair, we got a little unlucky too, so it works out. It's okay, it's fine. Uh, next up, the Mono Memnite. And I wish, I wish. I had heard, I don't know if this is true, but I had heard that Memnite was one of the cards that they added when they did uh, Momir, because Momir had cards that were not otherwise legal in Arena in it, and I had heard someone was crazy enough to cast it on Zero and got a Memnite, or used the Momir emblem on Zero. So, uh, yeah! Oh, oh, oops, 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 We only need to show one. You, <laughs> you get the idea behind that deck. That's easy peasy. We don't have to show that off again. Now this one though, oops all mana, yeah. Um, <laughs> this one is a little bit more complicated. You know how this thing is banned in Pioneer? So 11 Lana War Elves, 10 Ley Line Up Abundance, 8 Creator Hoof Behemoth, 11 Forest. There is absolutely no way that these are the right numbers for them. They're just totally not. But Creator Hoof, you want the fewest of if you have to have the numbers be uneven because it's the payoff. You need the enablers first. And so, Leyline of Abundance, Lanoir Elves, I, did, I threw it together, I didn't bother to run the numbers to see what the, the ideal composition is. Honestly, this just kind of feels right. If this were a 60 card deck, then uh, what you do to find the number of lands that you would have in a 60 card deck is you take your number and multiply it by 1.5. So, this would be 16 point, it'd be the equivalent of having 16 and a half forest, which is really, really low. One, it's Arena, so I think it should prioritize giving us more lands than would normally be the case. In Best of One, it feels like that's what the Shuffler does. And two, YOLO, you only need two lands, so just hope you get there, I guess. Uh, hopefully it'll work out. You, actually, you don't even need two. One is all you need. Two is great. Uh, and then, yeah, just have as many Ley Lines as possible. In fact, maybe we should even switch these around so that we have more Ley Lines, since they only really work in the opening hand. So let's try that out. Maybe we can make this work. All right, oops, all mana, do your thing. And then we'll get to Halle Berry's Invitational card for the next one. Halle Berry's Invitational card. Itchy nose is itchy, by the way. Just, you know, a little bit. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, would you look at that. Only one ley line. You know what, Yolo? We'll, we'll play another one with this. This is not fantastic, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yes. 
All right. So this neck, this little Lanoir will make enough so that we can play the other uh, Lanoir elves, and then we just pray, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, creeping. <gasps> The Creeping Chill deck! Oh, I thought about doing this! Stitcher Supplier Creeping Chill. Alright, well, never mind, we can do this. Whee! <laughs> we got there. Maybe, maybe. How many Creeping Chills can they hit after this? Oh, we. Oh no, we don't have enough. These will each make two, then Crater Hoof comes down, and that's. Uh, they won't have any creatures left. But we can't just go on the Leyline plan. Oh yeah, we're very screwed, aren't we? Ooh! <laughs> I'm at two! I'm at two! Uh, no! No, you can have that! You can have that! Oh, we're so dead! We're so dead and I love it! Alright, alright, I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> we're gonna try this again afterwards. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> There is no way they don't hit Creeping Chill. And even if they don't hit Creeping Chill, I can't block. So let's just let them have it. Ah, oh, there's, there's two. There are two. Whee! And negative two. GG. GG, let's try that again. That was not... I shouldn't have kept that. I should not have kept that. But it's fun. So why not? Why not, I guess? Let's try that again. No more than maybe a couple, though. Maybe. Definitely. Definitely. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> when I uh, first came on stream after having shaved, people had, and obviously it was less than this, good bit less than this, people were commenting on how young I looked. I will take that. Hi, Equilibrium again. I will take, I'm going to be 31 before long, so I will take all of the you youngster, <laughs> you young whippersnapper comments I can get. Someone came into my stream some time ago and said that they were older than I was, and I, uh, I said, I bet you are, because obviously they know how old they are, even if they don't know how old I am. Uh, this is also a weird key, as it turns out. Um, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five. Eww. Without other land war elves. Why did I keep this one again? But I said, yeah, I'm 30 years old. And they said, whoa, <laughs> never mind, you're younger than I am. They were 24. They were 24 and thought that I was... Old, that I was uh, younger than them, and I'm six years older than that. So I will take that. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it's it's Death Touch Mill. So it's slow Ruin Crab, but you don't have to worry about attackers as much. Except this one might give us enough time. Yeah, we're we're uh, Houston. We have a problem. Hmm. Houston, we have a problem. We shouldn't be able to make it past this, unfortunately. Yeah, so this deck does not work. Alas. Alas. I suppose there could theoretically be a world where we run fewer crater hoofs. Maybe we should give that a shot real quick. It'd be a surprise third. Uh, but I have some other things I'd like to play as well, so maybe not. Maybe not. I wanted to, I, even though it's already revealed, I, I do actually kind of want to do the uh, Stitcher Supplier Creeping Chill deck. That seems silly. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! They outmilled, they, they milled me more quickly than the Ruin Crab deck. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Alright, let's, let's try this out real quick. So, uh, once again, let's add more of you. Maybe six? Hmm. I don't actually know what the right number here is. Let's try this. Ten forest, equivalent of fifteen. Alright. Transition music. <laughs> I'm over here casting a spell, but it's in, it's in bubble world or whatever. <laughs> bubble world. This this happens when you have a very young kid, right? You Being silly comes more naturally, I suppose. Okay, 
So even if I, we don't have a crater hoof, we'll have a billion counters. Whee! Or at least that's the hope. That's the plan, man. Alright, so next turn. Forest, Lanawar. Yeah, I mean, we're not to the point where we can just dump counters. Aha! Ha-ha! Uh, sure. Hiya. Why not? Ooh! I don't know about that. Hmm. So this is exactly enough for a crater head swing here. But I think we're supposed to play one, and then it's eight. So if I play this Lanor Elf, I will not then be able to uh, add counters. Still, obviously this is better for Crater of himself. Wait, do I have enough? I guess I do, as it turns out. Oh, wait, that's right. One, two, three, four... Four for each, not three for each. Oops. I am I am big brain. I am I am big J. Big J brain. Uh fifteen. Alright, let's go. What are those what are the hey I have no idea what that was. I'm sorry. It's Was that some weird time walk deck and they were foretelling epiphanies? I didn't see any ramp. I don't know how they would have gotten there, but okay. Now for the one I'm, I'm craziest about. This one is uh, Chris Picula, Chris Pick Your Brain. Step one, this format is defined by Thoughtsy. Play Thoughtsy, so you know what your opponent's doing. Uh, step two, play Meddling Mage, so that you shut down what your opponent's doing. Bonus, I have Thalia because I like her, and Teferi because I like him. And then 14 lands. Which would, in a 60 card deck, be the equivalent of 21. So 21 lands <laughs> to Fairy Thalia, because I can. That's it, because I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's try this baby out. Yeah, uh, this seems like it might be annoying. In a format where everyone's running 10 ups or <laughs> 27 ups, I think this makes sense. Maybe a little bit. That's the hope, anyway. Oh, yeah. I have to actually get... Yeah, there we go. I don't know. This... Maybe it'll work out. I get to play a control deck. <laughs> In a super broken event, I get to play a control deck. Let's go. Alright, so Thoughtseize loses to Redundancy, but you know what? Doesn't? Meddling Mage, as it turns out. Yes! Yes, we keep. Holy crap, we keep. Itchy nose is itchy. Okay, oh, it's the Stitcher Supplier deck. Hmm, okay then. There's one, three. All right. There's no way they don't have more. So this is going to hurt. Uh, yep. All right. Hopefully it keeps them from casting this next one. Like, they'll cast that, and then hopefully they don't have another here. Yeah, so, enter, choose a non-land card name. Spells with that name can't be cast. I'm pretty sure, though, that Creeping Chill, that, that's not cast. Oh, let's go to Exile. Uh, yeah, it's not cast. Yeah. Well, that's a tiny problem. Still, we might be able to stabilize from here. Stitcher's Supplier. So they have to now rely on either finding the mana to eventually hard cast them, in which case we have another Stitcher Supply or another Meddling Mage, or just hitting them in their graveyard, or hitting them off the mill here, the mill plan. Uh, yep. I'll make you do it. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. There's one. All right. Uh, so they win. They win, actually. It's exceedingly unlikely that we're not going to, that we're going to actually be able to uh, to stop them here. Like they need to hit 
only swamps and stitcher suppliers. That's it. That's actual factual it at this point. Everything else in, in its bus. But if we can get lucky here on this attack. Alright, let's. No, no, no. No, we can't. I was about to say we could try to let it through, but at some point we have to risk this. Okay, here goes nothing. Do they have him? Ah, they got him. Good game. Let's try that again. That was fun. That was fun. That was cool. That was cool. Admittedly, it's a good matchup against us because they don't cast. Uh, Creeping Chill does not cast from the yard. Let's, I, I would like to try that again, though. That was cool. That was cool. If we can just get the Mono Ruin Crab deck, we're fine? No, actually we're not, because we can't actually kill them. We can bounce them with the one of to fairy. Uh, okay, never mind. So that's not the be-all, end-all, as it turns out. This deck might have problems. Oh, gah. Like that. Whee! Okay, that's better. Much better. Drop the Watery Grave. Set up the Hello. And maybe we can go first. Oh, no, wait, we can't. They go first, don't they? I missed that, I'm afraid. Ah. Hello. And hi. It's Tibble's Trickery. No, it's not. Of course it's not. They had a spike field hazard. <laughs> Okay, well that's cool. Also doesn't count. The Mono Spike Field Hazard deck. I have a sneaking suspicion there's something else going on. Maybe they have Chandra's Chicken, or uh, whatever. <laughs> I think it's called Chandra's Spitfire, but it's Chandra's Chicken. It's the 1-3 flyer that gets plus 3 plus 0 whenever you deal non-combat damage to a player and cover up your face with your screen. Yay, laptops. And itchy noses. Yeah, uh, it has both of our one ofs. We have to keep it. We're contractually obligated. It has everything. We have to keep this. Thoughtseize is going to wreck you. Thoughtseize is going to wreck you. Let's freaking go. say we're doing okay so far. I'd say that was all right. I'd like to play that one again. That was fun. Hi, Fairy Vandal number 76. <laughs> Just vault progress. That's all. <sighs> However many I have. Rokos. Okay. Strictly better than Rakdos. Strictly cooler than Rakdos. Yeah. Yeet. Let's do it. <laughs> now we have one of each land. Pitch your nose. Ooh, there's a lot going on this time. There's a whole lot going on. Okay, then. Thalia first. As, a, as any good hate bear deck should have, right? Now this is tricky. What do I name? Yeah, Blink. I think that that makes sense here. I'm not really worried about negate for obvious reasons. Shouldn't be worried about Tamio for a hot minute. Alright. Step one, attack. See what they burn here. Nothing. Make them use the growth spiral now. Yep, there it is. Okay. 
Now I actually will name Tamio. So we're getting we're getting to the point where that mana is going to be a problem. Haze of Pollen. <laughs> you can name Meddling Mage with Meddling Mage. <laughs> the absolute Chad play. Alright, well, uh, the Mono Meddling Mage team is getting something done, at least. Well, not Mono Meddling Mage, Thalia and her Meddling Mages. Those meddling kids. Alright, so they can do exactly jack all, as it turns out. Alright, what's new? Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, hmm. Well, since I don't have another one, we'll just take the Reclamation. Hey, leave it in hand. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I mean, they can't cast it, but they can cycle it. Woo! Grow Spiral, let's go. Alright, they know. They know. Hey! Well, at least this one helps me with my uh, quest progress. Uh, what was that deck? That was neat, but what was that? Was that some sort of, like, looping fog deck? I don't know. Uh, maybe it had Uro in there. We just didn't get a chance to see it yet. Let's try this one more time, right? Because this is the one I, I most favor. And then we'll try some other stuff afterwards. These are the ones that I planned out ahead of time, but we'll find some more, I'm sure. Cavalcade Ornithopters. I... Uh, I have other less stupid ideas. Yeah, let's keep. They go first, so... Eh, but we'll see. Oh, they just didn't start with a Ruin Crab. Ah, yeah! Spell Pierce. No. Ah, I was close. It's persistent. Ah, <laughs> Good call, opponent. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I must not be the first person to come up with this idea. There's no, um, obviously, right? But... <laughs> Let's do something else. Let's play it. Let's build another deck really quickly. Okay. So, so. I don't know. <coughs> what's the what's the right number of steel overseers to ornithopters? As you can see, I'm clearly putting a great deal of thought into this. Uh, I like this one. Uh, and then, best land is Blast Zone for what we're trying to do? Uh, genuine, genuine question. I, I don't know the answer. For what? Oh, Blink Moth Nexus. That's right. This is a card now. Okay. Uh, feels like I should have more Ornithopters. Maybe not quite so many Steel Overseers. It'd be nice if I could have some ramp, but... That's just how it is, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, no Moxen. There's Mox Amber, but obviously that's not... None of these are legendary, and if they were, you can't make colorless. Colorless is not a color. Like, bald is not a hairstyle. Just, just nah, how it goes. I made a, a, a post on Reddit saying, uh, Many Magic the, play Magic the Gathering players ask the, in retrospect, stupid, <laughs> a question, and it's the Patrick and Squidward... Yeah, good times. <laughs> is colorless a color? No, Patrick. Colorless is not a color. Uh, they just decided to be the West Newbury Ruin, but this is a slow enough format. I don't. I have a sneaking suspicion we won't get there. Probably not. You know what? You know what? Put in the fun of blast zone. The fun of blast zone. And then ornithopter. Sure, let's go. Fun of Blast Zone, because Blink Moth. Alright, and switch that out. New deck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. we got to come up with an actual name. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there we go. Do oh, I don't have enough characters for Dr. Robotics and Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> no! Hey, there we are. Cool. Much better. Now it has an actual name. Oh, by the way, uh, you may have noticed alternate arts 
four cards are allowed in this, which means I get to play the super cool Lanoir Elves. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Alright, while we're waiting, let me see if I can flash over and get a drink really quickly. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We are good. Yondar. Yondar over there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't. Yellow, you only get you only get events like these every now and then, right? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, because we can activate it. That's right. Oh. See, it's so stupid. This whole thing is so stupid. Alright, moment of truth. Mmm. Why not? Why not? Making a statement. We are making a statement. Uh, and the statement is we failed to find our card. Alright, well, we'll give this one another go. Because how is this not going to turn out horribly for me? I swear it's. Okay, lead. <laughs> Oh, as it turns out, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't care. I'm I'm playing this on. Uh well. Oh well. <laughs> Such a good card. Such a good card. Oh, and this is a sorcery, isn't it? Ah, so they won't be able to punish a uh, Blink Moth here. Woo! Alright, now it should be dead, right? Should totally be dead. At least we have three different named creatures now. Aha! Opt, okay. I know there's actual background music, but I can't hear it, so I swear to God. There's no way we're winning this, but I'm going to pretend it's possible. Ah! Okay. Bang. Legion's End. Primal Amulet. Yeah, yeah, there's no reason. Just might as well do it. Hiya! Hiya! Okay, well, with cards like Opt and Blink, I don't think they'll have a problem turning on uh, Amulet. Turning on Wellspring. Aha! There it is again. Oh no! Alright, place your bets. Will he cast Overseer again? Primal Amulet in a format like this. From the guy who put Teferi in his deck because he could, I guess. Why am I doing that there? Ah, well. We're on the mono poke them to death plan. Even if the Steel Overseer does eventually die, Blink Moth can pump itself. Well, can pump other Blink Moth creatures. Because uh, of the way it's worded. Ta da! Woo! Hmm. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, if we find one more mana here, it's one and tap in order to get the pump. 
Ooh. Una mas. One more. And then they can start co copying stuff. Yeah, yeah, Arena. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I have a sneaking suspicion that this one's over. Probably was over from the first Legion's end, but I had to. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! It was my Joseph, jo old Joseph impression. Alright. Sure. Let's do it again. What do we have to lose? I mean, are you going to cast another Legion's End to kill, <laughs> to overkill my Overseer? Also, I have no graveyard, because it totally matters. <gasps> That's right! Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> now this should be let. Please tell me it's legendary. Okay, it's not. It's a land. It's just a land. He's just a boy. I'm gonna get killed by Nexus. I'm gonna... Alright, this is... If I were streaming, this would be Q&A time. <laughs> this would be, hey everybody, time to ask me whatever the heck you feel like. Should preempt some of those questions. Alright. <sighs> Ooh, what you say? Yep. <clears throat> That seems pretty good. Now, what's the restriction? It has to be CMC 2 or less. Well, in this format, as it turns out, it's not a problem. I like how the uh, card, by the way, changes when you hover over it. Rar. She mean. Ah. Please, let me get a turn. Well, okay, and we're, now we're out for the next 27 minutes. Gen what is it? Gentlemen, synchronize your watches. Whee! Oh, and it's gone. Bye-bye. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give them that. I'm gonna tell them good game and move on to the next. I, I, I think we're not winning that one. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, probably not. But, let's try that again. That was the long, I, that was much longer than I expected the game to go. We got to see a bona fide control deck. I like this little, this silly little format. Hi again! Long time no see! How are you? How are you doing? How you doing? Okay, we have an actual keepable hand. One, two, three, blip, there we go. And then, of course, hello, hello, Tibble, Tibble's trickery, Tibble's trickery. I haven't seen nearly enough of those. I'm gonna go, oh, ooh, yeah, that, that resolves. I want, I'm betting you're not doing quite the same thing as me. I would bet. After all, that is mono black. But, you know, could be wrong. All that jazz. Hmm. If they already got the memo, we'll just play it out. Should have poked them for zero three times. Take a pillow. And just whack them really quick. It doesn't hurt, but. Ooh, waste not. Huh. Okay. 
yeah! And there we go. Ta-da! I have no cards in hand, so, uh... How's this going to work? I do not know. Ooh! We have a, a word for that. Shh. <laughs> Sorry, this is kid friendly. My bad. My bad. Ooh, and there they go. Alright, well, we get a control deck again. That's cool. Animate, animate, ooh, and an an animar. Rar. Boom, boom, boom. All right, what you got? Bontu's last reckoning part. Do. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna see if they have a way to add cards to my hand and then make me discard them, other than Rankle. I like your expensive Shrieking Affliction. It's pretty neat. It means they gave up a blocker, though. Do it. Alright, cool. Alright, what do I have? Woo! Yeah, we still don't have enough, though. And a mate. Alright. And then... Hiya. And once again to confirm, it's one and tap. So I, I lack it, unfortunately. Bang, bang. Alright. Hopefully we're getting there. Hopefully. That's a 4-3. Ah, good game. Give him the good game. Ah. Beat me to it. Beat me to it. Okay, well, that was easy enough, right? I mean, the deck plays itself, essentially. <laughs> Alright, so what's another silly deck I could play? I could... Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I may have another space. Okay, I'll have to delete decks, but this is an event. We'll delete them afterwards. Blue. Ooh, what happened there? Voice. Hey, here it is. You you might have a sneaking suspicion where this is going. We'll put some number of... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find the right number in a bit. But some number of favorable wins. Uh, Fairy Miscreant Favorable Wins Island. Sure. Why not? Why not? We'll say, hmm, what's a good number? 12? And then, yeah, that, that's good. Flying fairies. There we go. <laughs> Spelling it this way. Why not? Uh, yeah. Are there any strictly better islands other than snow, I guess? No, that's not strictly better, but close enough, right? All right. Woo! Flying fairies. Let's do this. So, Fairy Miscreant. It's a 1-1 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, if you control another with that name, Fairy Miscreant, draw a card. So, uh, yeah. They they just one mana, draw, 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 draw. That, that's the idea. Hey, perfect. This is, this is perfect. This is exactly what we would like. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh-oh. We might actually lose... <laughs> Off the mulligan, uh, it, I mean, off the combo deck. Or they could mulligan to oblivion. Uh, I don't know. Joe Fisto. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, there we go. When it enters, if you control another, draw a card. Sadly, it's not draw a card for each, or we would breeze through this deck. Like it's nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. Draw a card. Draw. Monster card. And hi-ya! Boing. Boing. <laughs> That's the sound I make. Boing. 
It's a fairy, so it'd be like a tickle or a poke. Or something a little more harsh. I guess it depends on which which story we're going with. Oh, so they still don't have a response. Is this Tibble's trickery and they just didn't find what they needed early? That's almost certainly what it is, right? Boing, boing, boing. Alright, well, unfortunately, next turn we're going to be one shy. Ah, they might have it. Nope, it's goblins. Goblins. Goblin. Woo! See if we can draw another one. Another land. Okay, well, uh, we'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Whee! And... There we go. <laughs> They're trying. They tried. I don't know what they were going for. It's goblins in this, so... Uh... I guess they, they take out the ones that do... Like, take out your wily goblins? I guess that's one of the least effective ones. Hmm. I don't know. Usher. Usher. I'll try this deck out again. That seemed cool enough. I will have I will cut it before she high again. As you can imagine, we're probably on different decks. You and I both. Certainly I am. Also, this is the exact same hand this is actually the exact now it's different. Alright. Whale? Whale. Whale. Ah! No, you are in the same thing then. Okay. Well, uh, I might be in trouble then. You might mill me a bit too quickly, and I'm helping you out by drawing cards. I'm not sure. The Mono Thieves Guild Enforcer deck. Yeah, no. Oops. That would have been the time to do so. Because now I'm at four, now I'm at six, then they do it again. Yeah, so no, that was right, that was right. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. Ow. Well, the good news is they don't get any bigger from here. That doesn't help me out too much, though. I could play favorable wins, trade with one of them, Go for two miscreants next turn. Alright, and then we'll pass it right along. Uh, we're still gonna lose to Mill, though. If they just don't attack. Oh, never mind, they're attacking. Alright. And I'm sure that they have more. They have to have more, right? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. And that's the one. Nope, they had more. Whale. Good game. I can't beat that. Not anymore. Alas, not anymore. When you go to one card in library. Nope. Nope. Alas. Alright, I guess that'll do it for me for now. That's That was fun, at least. I appreciate getting a jam. Oh, and we did complete our quest at last. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh, uh, I've been informed that this is Thor, not uh, Halvar, I think, the white one with the sword. Obviously, the one with the hammer is going to be Thor, right? But, I don't know, I forgot this guy existed for a while. Thank you, Rukulin, for reminding me. Yeah, uh, okay. So, something I might build around at some point. So, 4 mana, 5, 4, trample when a creature or planeswalker and opponent controls is dealt excess, non-combat damage. How specific, right? But oh, I'm sure we could build a deck around that, right? Toroff deals damage equal to the excess to any target other than that permanent, okay? And then the other side, Quip Creature has one red, unattach it, deals three damage to any target, return it to its owner's hand. So the, the Mjolnir throw and it comes back thing, except in this case it comes back to hand, so you can cast it again as the creature. That seems cool. Alright, and then otherwise, plus three plus so as long as it's legendary. Cool, I guess. That works, I suppose. I can also see, strangely enough, I can see a world where you have first strike, deal the three damage, and then unattach it to deal the uh, 
the next three, but you'd also have to have Vigilance, because you have to tap the creature as well. Mono Red, not exactly known for Vigilance, but something cute, I imagine in maybe a Boros deck, or in a, I don't know, maybe there's some Vigilance giving, yeah, there's there's sort of Valorant, right? There's, there's Vigilance giving equipment on Arena. I'm being, I'm being cute about it, but I don't know, just something, just something silly to do. All right. I'm saving the masteries for Evangeline. She she gets to she she got me to this point, you know all the ones we see here, and she will open all the rest, you know as you do I, I suppose. It's, it's it's fun to her. She she likes it. <laughs> all right. Well that's it. Take care, magic community, and I guess I'll catch y'all later. See you in the next one. Bye bye.